Previously on this venture camp, the teams faced off on their first immunity challenge. On the teal team, Gabby found the immunity totem while looking for Dan's glasses. On purple, Fiora went looking for the same totem, but to no avail. In the end, Will's fear of sliding down the mountain wore off Fiora's patience, costing her team the challenge. Will desperately tried to expose Fiora's actions, but nobody believed him, and he became the first one voted out. 13 remain. Who will be leaving today? Now, go find Ellie. But if Gret finds out, she's going to be mad. <laughs> Who cares what that fat girl thinks? Okay, I try to get back quickly. Move! Hello! Oh, Gabby! You scared me. What are you doing here? Is it just... I wanted to know if you were out of the game. Well, I'm here. I'm not in the best position, but at least I didn't get votes. Mm, I want to tell you something. Sure. What's up? I found an immunity totem. If you feel in danger, give me a signal in this challenge and I'll secretly pass it to you. <laughs> wow. Gabby. Would you really do that for me? Why? Well... You're the only person who was nice to me on that team. I'm sorry to hear that, but thanks for worrying about me. <laughs> of course, bestie! I have got back now, see you later! <laughs> I'm surprised at how quickly Gabby got attached to me. I'm not complaining, she's got a great vibe. It's a shame we couldn't agree on yesterday's elimination. I know. I'm still very confused. Ladies, we did what we had to do. That punk had a few screws loose. He seemed like a nice guy. That can't happen again. The Alliance must stay strong and united. Yesterday before the elimination, the Alliance was talking and we couldn't come to a decision. For some bloody reason, Lil was defending Will, and Ashley preferred to throw her vote on Alec. I obviously went Will. As much as I hate to admit it, Lil was being a bit annoying. Hey, um, where have you been? Uh, uh, I, I just went uh, fishing. I went fishing. But Jake and Tom went fishing. They took all the fishing gear. Oh, yeah. When I got the lake, I remembered I hadn't brought my fishing gear, so I came back. <sighs> okay, fine. I went to see Ellie. Please, don't tell anyone. Oh, well, it's okay, Gabby, I won't tell. I guess I do owe you a favor for helping me find my glasses. We're here. Now, time to cook them. We have to eat before the challenge. Hey, how's it going, Miriam? Can't you see it's still cooking? Uh, yeah. Listen, I wanted to ask you if you're okay. You've been kind of upset since we got here and... Whatever happened to minding your own business? Go bother someone else, kid. I don't know what I was thinking coming here. If it weren't for my retirement money, I wouldn't be here. Uh, your notebook? 
No, I haven't seen it. Hey campers, it's challenge time! Welcome to your challenge! Today we will test your ability to face your worst fear. We've been doing a bit of research on each of you, and I have to say, we found some interesting stuff. Or should I say, scary. Here's how it will work. You will go through the maze behind me. On your journey, you will encounter several doors, accompanied by a picture of one of your teammates. To continue, that teammate has to go through the door and face the fear inside. If they succeed, you may continue on your way. Are you ready? Don't worry, I'll be here to support you at all times. If you decide to not face a fear, that's totally fine. You'll just have to wait a little bit longer. It's not a little long. In fact, you will have to wait 30 minutes. In case you decide not to face the challenge, you must mark the X and you will have to wait as a penalty. The first team to reach the other side gets immunity and a reward. So get ready to show your courage and conquer your fears. Whatever, today's reward is an extra waterproof camping tent. The rains can start at any time, so it'll definitely help the hypothermia. If there's no questions, I'll give each team a map of the maze where you can find the door. This challenge starts now! Come on, we're so close to the first gate. I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, Fiore. I'm sure these scares are harmless. Off we go, lads. Ellie, you're up first. All right. Fear of sharks! You must swim in a pond with a shark for five minutes! Oh no. Come on, it's only five minutes. Okay. Fear of cemeteries. <laughs> you must go alone and spend ten minutes in the Tapisco Cemetery. What? Tapisco Cemetery? I thought this was the wilderness. Maybe it's a pet graveyard. Sorry, guys. I can't do it. What? It's okay. How much time is left? 30 seconds. Don't look at him. Just close your eyes. Don't worry, mate. Sharks are harmless. Done. Great. Let's continue. Are you okay? Not really. I feel bad for letting the team down. Don't worry. We'll catch up in the other challenges. I wish I could do it, but it's just... It's too close to home. May I ask why? I lost my grandfather when I was a kid, and I always went with my mom to visit him and leave flowers. That place caused me a lot of anxiety. Now my grandmother's sick, and I know it's only a matter of time before... You know. I'm sorry, Jay. That must be hard. It's fine. I'd rather not think about it. Time's up, come on! Fear of going bald. There is someone inside waiting to cut all your hair. What? Oh! Absolutely not! We'll take the penalty. Why? Hair grows back. I don't care. Fear of being alone? You must spend 15 minutes in an isolation room. Aww. What? That sounds easy. Well, it's not. Come on, Gabby, you're gonna be fine. I thought I'd never have to see the inside of one of these again. Fine! I'll do it! Oi, Lil. I still don't get it. Why were you defending Will so much? I had a feeling I could trust him. All my life, I worked with girls Fiore's age, and I feel that something's not right with her. 
What do you mean? Just look at her. She looks like a little baby piglet. Have you seen how fast she writes on her notebook? I could barely read at her age. Let's go to the next one. Follow me. How dare they do this to you again? You should make them pay. <sighs> it's just that there. I'll be out in few minutes. What makes you believe that? You leave right now and take your revenge. No. Yay! I made it! Woo! <laughs> well done. Now let's go to the next one. Fear of confronting your past! You must pick a cheesecake! What's so painful about cheesecake? You got this, Miriam. I'd rather not. What? Why? It's personal, okay? I don't owe you all a reason. What the hell was that? The teal team was a bit behind, but managed to catch up with the purple team. Each team has one gate left to go through. Who will get there first? Fear of fires. You must wear a thermal suit and enter a small cabin that we have behind the door, which will burn in flames in 15 minutes. Dang, Nabbit. Come on, Ashley. You'll have a protective suit. It won't hurt you. I know, but it's just... It scares me. Go ahead, Tom. With this, we win. We couldn't find much information on you. So, we have a challenge that we know might cause you some anxiety. You must take off your mask. I, I, I can't do that. Please, make it quick and we can get through the last door. You can do it, Tom. Sorry, I'm not doing that. Just 15 minutes, Ashley. You're going to be fine. I haven't always been afraid of fires. Two years ago, a heat wave caused one near my family's farm. We lost part of the house, the animals, and the crops. We haven't been able to fully recover after that. But Mama didn't raise the quitter. It's not fair! I had to be in isolation, and he can't take off that silly mask? It's suspicious, don't you think? What? You saw him walking at night? What would he's doing? Time is over, Ashley! Bloody amazing! You did it! Purple team wins immunity and the reward! Yeah! yeah! We lost because of you! I'm sorry. Teal team, we'll see you at the elimination, where we'll have to vote the second person out of this Ranger camp.
doesn't matter if Tom ruined the challenge, he's our strongest member, we can't vote him out. Numbers are key in this game, and I'd rather be with him than against him. Tom, Jake, Drew, could I, uh, could I speak with you for a moment? Sure, come on. I'll follow. Dan, what's going on? I wanted to propose something. Sure, tell us. Taking advantage of the fact that there are four boys on our team, meaning us, we should vote for one of the girls. Makes sense. Who would we vote for? Miriam or Gret? I'd rather vote for Gret. Uh, how about Gabby? Sometimes her attitude is somewhat erratic. Would you vote for her, Drew? It's clear the boys will try to get us out. Do you think so? We have to do something! We should vote together. Maybe I could convince one of the guys to vote with us. I'll vote for whoever you damn please if you let me sleep. Okay. I think I know what Tom is hiding. We've all realized that he's somewhat paranoid, and I'm going to use that to my advantage. Look, I, ju I just... I, I need more time. Fine. I'll keep you posted. I was looking yeah. for you. Uh, uh, hey, Gret. What's wrong? I wanted to talk to you before the elimination. I found something you must see. <sighs> uh, what is it? Someone here has been watching you. What are you talking about? Drew, he has been writing down everything you do, from your mysterious ways to your strange escapades at dawn. Keep your voice down. The boy doesn't trust you very much. You can read it yourself. Whatever you're hiding, I'm sure he already knows or is close to finding out. The guys wanted to vote for you a while ago, but I managed to divert the attention to someone else. How about you return the favor? Welcome to your first elimination, you sorry saps. Here's how it works. One by one, you must go to the voting booth, write the name of the person you want to vote out, and deposit it in the ballot box. Now get voting. I'd rather vote for someone else, but the boys' alliance will get me farther in the game. Sorry, Gabs. I may have messed with Drew's notes just a little. <laughs> You've cast your votes. Now I'll make your decision final. The person with the most votes must leave the camp. If somebody has an immunity totem, they'll need to present it before the votes are read. Then all votes for that player the totem is used on will be nullified. First vote, Gabby. Drew. Gabby. Drew. That's two votes, Gabby. Two votes, Drew. Gabby. Drew. That's three votes Drew, three votes Gabby, and one vote left. The second person voted out of this venture camp. Drew. What? How, how did that happen? I'm confused. Huh, weird. Drew, it's time for you to go. Everything ready to start recording? Almost. We have a bit of a problem, but I already contacted someone who could take care of the dirty work. Jensen, are you sure? Yeah, he's the only one I know with experience in this kind of situation. <laughs>